Con Raves. Oops, 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 oops. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to weekday one up. What are you doing? Oh, gotta snap back in. Mm. I'll get one next episode. Oh, I do have one right there. Yeah, might as well. I thought they were all over there. Con raves. Let's talk about con raves. But first, let's talk about how you guys need to leave more awesome topic suggestions because you guys have turned out to be way more creative than us. Yeah. Like a lot of these topic suggestions you leave, I'm like, why didn't we think of that? Mm -hmm. Like today's. I'm like, what were we doing? Were we high? Yeah. We weren't. Why didn't we think of this? Like, I don't... But anyway, leave more. Leave more questions. You guys are awesome. Super cool. Super cool people. But also, we're going to MomoCon. Mm -hmm. We're going to be in Atlanta, Georgia at the end. At, uh, we'll be there Thursday. Week. Yeah. We'll be there Thursday. We're going to have an episode out on Thursday. But we're not going to be here. We're going to be there. Yeah. It's going to be trippy. We're not going to be square. Well, we might be. It's going to be super exciting. If you guys are going to be in Atlanta for MomoCon over this coming weekend, which is May 28th through, what's four days after that? The 31st? Is that 31 days in May? Yeah. Through the 31st. January, February, March, April, May. Yeah. Uh, does that work? Yeah. January, That's cool. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Huh. That's probably how they decided how many days there were. They were like, how do we figure this out? Look at your knuckles. Look at your knuckles. Because July and August both have 31 days. That's really cool. You never, th you never knew that? No. Yeah, I learned that in like third grade. And I was well, like, anyway, amazing. it's going to be from the 28th through the 31st. We're going to be there the entire time. I don't know when we're cutting out Sunday, but we'll be there for a little bit at least. And But mm -hmm. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we'll be there nonstop running around we're everywhere. Be in it. And we're going to have a special guest on the show. We, yeah. T-Dragon. Mm -hmm. We mentioned it last week. You guys want any specific questions you want to ask T-Dragon mm -hmm. for the question block, you should leave those now. If you don't, we'll just ask one of them that's already been written, and hopefully he... And if you don't know who T-Dragon is and you love conventions, just type in real T-Dragon up on YouTube. I tell, You'll I'd, love it. I'd, tell, I'd say put it in the description, but we don't need to have that in every episode this week. Yeah, go check them out. Um, um, and he does yeah. awesome music videos, awesome cosplay videos. Um, we'll talk more about him when he's on the show. But yeah. Just go check him out, and if you got any questions for him, let us know so we got something for the question block yeah. or any topics that you just want to hear him talk about in general. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, without further ado, it, today we're going to talk about raves, con raves specifically. Mm -hmm. Now, what's our experience with con raves? When did this all start? Okay, 2011. Let me take you back. End of 2011. I often think, man, we started conning in 2011, but then I'm like, well, it was basically 2012. Yeah. It's pretty much the beginning of 2012. But I still say 2011. I do too. Because that's the year it happened. Yeah. It was like a, two, a week and a half before Christmas. Uh-huh. Um, I, I had yet to have a smartphone. I got a smartphone like two days later. I had one. Yes. But that doesn't even matter. <laughs> well, I count them both the same because it was like oh, first you con. you count them together. I first you. con, first smartphone. Um, so, um, and we didn't even know there was going to be a rave. No idea. It said, it, it was named like Ravu or something. Some, it was Weeaboo weird. way of saying rave. And so we didn't know what that was. We were like, I don't know idea what that is. We didn't even care. Like, we didn't paid any mind at all. We were just like, we're here to see cosplay and see the dealer's room. Like, we were having the time of our freaking life. And then, like, we hear, like, music. Yeah, because this, was, this like, con's <laughs> really small. <laughs> More like, this is honestly probably the smallest con we've ever been to to date. Oh, uh, no, Ikasu Con was probably small. I didn't go to Ikasu Con. Um, but, and we're like, what's this? And we go in, and they're like, where's your badge or whatever? And we're like, right here. And we go in. And then it, we were just like, <gasps> and we're like, why are we? Yeah, we're like, what is this? Is this Wonderland? And it, looking back, because there's some little bit of footage of it, mm -hmm. it's so tiny. It is tiny and not that great. It's little jank, little rave. Uh, Jeff Ito was doing the rave. It, it was fun. Pretty sure it was Jeff. I know him and Tetsuo did 
2012s. Mm-hmm. But uh, it was really fun. It was awesome. It like, blew our mind. And from that moment on, we were like, we got to go to more of these at cons. Like, oh, we didn't even know. We were like, are these at every con? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. Our next con was Anime Central. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did we learn what a con rave is <laughs> pretty quick? Like, Because if you don't know, does it have the biggest... It was, from what I've read, it was the first con rave. They started it at Anime Central. They started the con rave sensation. Yeah. The like sensation that swept the nation. And then they also, I think they have the biggest, but don't quote me. They might, mu- because. Soap Bubble is another level. Yes. they. If it's not the biggest, it's still really big. Mm-hmm. It's next level stuff, and it was insane. Now, we can't even get into the Soap Bubble every time we try. Who was it? Uh, our f- a friend of ours, he went and he said that he couldn't get in, so he was just chilling outside, mm-hmm. like on his Snapchats. He was like, "Can't get in, chilling." Uh, we did manage to get in back in 2011 though, and th- with no problem. Yeah, we just like, literally walked in. Yeah, and it was, it was fun. Yeah, like you could leave, go back in. You cannot do that. Yeah. At least last time we went was 2014, and that year you could not do that. I had press a press badge, and I couldn't get in. Mm-hmm. But it was, it was insane. Yeah, so what a, that changed our rave life, and we started getting more into raves. Now we go to raves at every con we go to, and sometimes we'll even just get bored of them just because we've done it so much now. It's like, yeah, eh, this is so good. And the way I feel about raves is usually on Friday because we've gotten up early. I'm very, very tired. Come and- on, man. Don't even play. Even on at Yuma's, we were there Thursday, and on Friday's rave, you weren't looking forward Okay, I don't know what it was. Sometimes I'm just not in. I'm ready. Uh, Momo, I don't know about Thursday, but Friday and Saturday, oh, I'm going to be in it. That's another thing I should maybe mention really quick before we just talk generally about raves is a lot of people seem to think that it's interesting that I for sure, and maybe you too, now that you're getting bigger online, go to raves because I've had, I don't know if I ever told you about this, I've had multiple fans from my convention reviews channel come up to me during raves and be like, are you the convention reviews guy? And I'm like, yeah, and they're like, that's freaking awesome! And I'm like, rave! <laughs> like, I don't know why they would... Rave! I don't know why they would not expect me to be there when I do, like, two vlogs that are straight raves for every con. But. Mm-hmm. Yuma, I don't know what it was about Yuma. I just wasn't in it. Just wasn't in it? I wasn't in it, man. I think it was because of... Every... You were on Saturday, though, right? Saturday I was in it for... And good... that's the day I wasn't. Yeah, uh, I was in there for at least an hour. Yeah. Um... I don't know what it was, man. But fri- Friday, I wasn't even having it. I was dead. Um, but I'm going to mean it both Friday and Saturday this year. You're going to mean it? I'm going to mean it. I'm ready. I'm going to be in it. I'm going to be in it. And I, I it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. What about Thursday? Thursday. A little flow party. I, I, if, I'll go and I'll sit and I'll watch. Because we're getting up at 1 in the morning. They put out a full map of yeah. the con. I should show it to you. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, I just... Uh, I'm looking forward to Raven. What do you like? That's about so raves? Raven. Well, I like. Let me just mention: if you've never been to a con rave, they're really cool. Mm-hmm. Like, they're different because everybody—not everybody, but like half the people are in their cosplay, mm-hmm. and the other half are in their rave fits, mm-hmm. or their rave outfit, and like, they just—it looks really cool. Sure, you'll get—you'll bump into an area where it smells really terrible. Oh lord! You just. Sure, you'll bump area. into an area where you smell paraphernalia. Yeah. And and lots and lots of herbal refreshment. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's really cool. You should definitely go. If you go to cons and you've never been to the rave because you're maybe intimidated or like, I don't know if I'm in the rave scene, go to a con rave. That It's a lot better than like going to just your everyday rave. Because... Here's what I say. You're with other nerds. If you're not if if you're not necessarily into like dancing around being a, and being in it with people, there's always like chairs over somewhere where you can go and just chill and kind of like sit there and listen and watch the people and watch people who are high out of their mind be weird. It's just enjoyable. Like I really enjoy it like it's a great way to end the day, honestly. Mm-hmm. Like at a con. There's no other way I would want to end the day at a con mm-hmm. unless I'm super tired. There are there have been cons where there's a rave going on like Friday night's rave at Ramen Con. Uh, we were just so tired. We were like, let's not even go. We just went to bed. And sometimes I do that, but most of the time I'm like, especially if it's a big con, like at Yuma or at like Midwest 
or at Momo. I'm I know, sure. like there will be times, like because especially fr- Friday, because I'm usually I'm just tired, you know, and I'm just like I just want to like sleep and get up, and then I'll be ready for tomorrow. That's why we nap. Well, actually, one of the things we do a lot is nap before the rave. Like, Saturday, normally around, like, 8, we'll all, like, lay down for, like, two hours Mm -hmm. and then get up and go to the rave. It doesn't work because I can't sleep. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe you can now. You've been learning to sleep during, like, the day better. Yeah, it's not during the day. It's that all the lights are on and, like, a bunch of people are talking at the same time, too. Not like at Yuma's. At Yuma's, all of us took a nap. Every uh, single one of them. That's us. true. I didn't actually fall asleep at you. Oh, you did? I did. The pro- only problem with doing that is forcing yourself to get up and go. Because you'll wake up after that nap and you'll be like, forget it. Con's over. I'm going to bed. But if you get up and you go to that rave, you don't even have to stay in the rave. The point of the rave is that it gets you into the nightlife feeling. Mm-hmm. The real point of it is like getting into the nightlife. So go have fun at the rave and then go out and just meet people in the halls because everyone's like just partying. Did you know Shy Guy's going to be at Momo? Yeah. They also announced the voice actor of Hercule. Oh, yeah, I did see that. Yeah. Okay, guys. What do you guys think about con raves? Let us know in the comments below. Do you ever go to them or do you try to avoid them? I really recommend, even if you feel like it's not your scene, go to one. Go to one and even be a wallflower. Like, I knew this guy. I'm not going to name any names, but he was not into raves. I saw him writing all over Facebook. You know, con raves just aren't my thing. It's not my scene. I see him at raves every con I go to now. Do I know what this person? Um, maybe. Tell but, me. Tell me after the episode. He's just a friend on Facebook. So I don't know what cons. I mean, it's not really anyone super important to us. But I didn't know if it was like somebody we met. Uh, I've talked to him like we talked to him like once. Oh. But anyway, without further ado, if you want to, we'll answer a question of the day. <laughs> Video game girl fifty seven. 51? 57. I thought you said sin. Hey, buddy. Asks, do you guys have my anime list profiles? Well, in fact, I do. You do too, right? I do. I haven't used it in years. Oh, sick. I know. I use mine often, though it's not completely up to date with the new season. It's up to date before the new season. So I'll link that in the description below. It's MC Cat 2 if you want to just look it up. What's yours? I don't even remember. Well... Dakota's is lost it's, in the void. It's gone. Mine is MC Cat 2. I keep it decently up to date. You know, it's a little not right, but uh, you can get a good idea. Any, if right. there's anything in the complete, I've definitely finished that. So, But yeah, you guys should go check it out. It's pretty cool. I mean, I, I love my anime list. I've talked to some people who are like, I don't have that. What's that? Why would I want that? I'm like, well, it's actually It cool. is convenient. convenient. I just don't. I just don't think about it. I use it for this show, too, because I've got the app for my anime list, and sometimes like we'll need to talk about like anime that made us cry. Mm. So I'll go through my anime list, look what anime have I seen. Oh, yeah, re- like will remind me. This did make me cry. Mm. like That sort of thing. But that's pretty much it. I guess that's it for the show. Yeah, right well, uh, you know what? You uh, what's, uh, Do you guys have an anime list? You know, and Link it in the description below. I'd love to see your guys' anime list. Yeah, also, um, you can follow us on right here yeah this is my snapchat and his snapchat also our twitters and our instagram so go follow those and hashtag wd1up when you share this video anywhere with like anything you want to share it with you know Mm -hmm. screen caps fan arts you guys know the drill i don't need to say it every time unless they're new there could be a new subscriber they don't know how we work they probably can guess what type of things you share the episode (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> there's only so many things. Mm-hmm. So, stay nerdy? Stay nerdy, yeah. Stay, stay nerdy, nerdy, guys. That was a very weak ending, this episode. We'll see you guys at MomoCon at the end of the week. And Boom. hey, stay nerdy. Stay nerdy. Boom. Boom. Drop the base. I think my hat went in the trash. That's pretty funny. Did it? I don't know. No, it went right behind it.